Broad Street. Fly Eagles Fly podcast coming at you live, going over uh, another ho-hum blowout win by the Eagles. We're here to give you the game summary, to give you all the uh, the segments as we break down another win for an Eagles team that's 7-0. and I'm Mike O. I'm Eddie Black. And here we go. Let's get into this. What What did you see? Tell me about Tell me about what you saw uh, there today. Mike, I seen Terrell Owens catch three touchdowns today. I mean, A.J. Brown, he was unbelievable. Dominant, can't be stopped. Absolutely a great acquisition this offseason. He, he opens up everything for the whole team. Yeah, for the other players. I mean, Devontae Smith gets more open looks. Dallas Goddard gets more open looks. He, A.J. Brown sets the table, and you're right about the simple fact that he's been the most dominant uh, wide receiver in an Eagles uniform since Terrell Owens. There is no doubt. Uh just the separation and the tack, uh, breaking tackles, the ability he has to break tackles is amazing. I, I agree. He, I think he's the best receiver in the NFL right now. That's how I feel. But I also love today how this game with Jalen Hurts staying in the pocket, throwing the football down the field, right on the money. That's how he's going to have to win in the playoffs. So he can do both. He can run and he can throw. And it's just going to, how do you game plan against this defense, uh, this offense? I don't even know how you game plan against this offense. And and like I say, it's ho hum because it was just like you never were worried, like you never were really concerned watching the games. It's su- it, this is such a different. We're so not used to this as Eagles fans because we're usually the team that has to scrap and claw and yeah. fight and kick for every yard and and every win that we get. And for us to be able to just to play the complimentary football and steamroll these teams, because even if the offense isn't clicking, they're good enough to get you some first down so the defense isn't exhausted. And the defense is good enough that they're at least going to get you a turnover. So, you know, even if you're not clicking in the beginning, I have faith that this team can turn it around and play a full four quarters of football and and, and get you the win. I, I agree. The Eagles lead the NFL in turnover margin. By a wide margin. It's not yeah. like one or two more. I think I think I saw it today. So now it's what? We're plus 13 because we another thing hurts isn't throwing the ball uh, to the other team. No. Like, we're not and, – and Miles Sanders isn't fumbling. <laughs> Knock on wood, of course. Uh, yeah. You know, because you know sometimes turnovers just aren't your fault and, like, you know, balls get tipped and, and things happen. But uh, but right now we really got it going on in our giveaway game. I mean, takeaway game, of course, we got that going on too. But I'm more impressed by our giveaway game because – you know, a lot of times things just happen on the field and you can't uh, prevent it. But, uh, man, we've been so good. He's at, been masterful at, Hold, at yeah. holding on to the ball. Correct. Yeah, you know, so, uh, you know, what What can you say? You, like, you you never were worried. I mean, now they never exerted any energy to, to, to win this game. There was no exert. There was it just felt like it was it was never going in, through the motions to win this football game. Yeah. You never felt like uh, you were worried that they were coming back or you're worried that they might lose. Uh, and 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 you got to play a lot of the backup guys because you have a short week and you're playing on Thursday. So I love it. I love it. What else can you say? The Eagles are seven and zero. this is like culture shock. <laughs> I never thought we'd be able to turn around uh, the roster and, and our, our dominance in the league when Carson Wentz left, when Doug Peterson got fired, it really felt like uh, the world was coming down. Yeah. Or just like a complete reset. And just to see this team where it is now, uh, you got to give credit to, to the organization as a whole. And if we're able to, uh, you know, actually cash in and win the championship this year, now we are the gold standard. Now you can actually say that, you know, because Listen, it's unbelievable. I don't know when this team's going to lose a game. I know. Look, listen, they will lose a game. They're not supposed to. But going into these games, looking at the, you know, week nine, week 10, week 11, like you just don't see it. And they brought up the schedule and and the teams that you're looking at that have the winning records are in our division. So it's the Giants and it's the Cowboys. So uh, those are going to be tough games no matter how you slice it. But we have the Houston Texans who we should be able to beat on the road. And then after that, we have the commanders at home. Uh, So you got to figure that it's a good chance that we're nine and up. If we don't 
turn the ball over and we play the complimentary football we've been playing all season, this team's nine and out, ten and out. It's gonna and if you don't get the first seed. It's a disappointment. It's a huge disappointment at this point because now that they make the second seed play the first week, the first seed is such a value uh. because that bye week only going to one team, it really sets up for the one seed to make it to the Super Bowl. Yes. So and and it's not guaranteed you make it to the Super Bowl, but that extra week of rest on a bye has been getting beaten up all year. And playing at makes home makes a difference. And playing at home. So I mean, uh I love it. Uh it, it just Tell us what you guys think in the comments, too, because what can you say? What can you say? I mean, you you can nitpick, and believe me, we are going to do some nitpicking because that's all you have. But, I mean, like, you're blown away by by the by the status of this team, by the cool demeanor. Uh, you know, you never see them really get rattled. Uh, they seem like they, they have it under control. It's all about next play. Uh, I love the – you could just feel the team oozes swagger and confidence in the locker room when you watch them, and uh, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pleasure to watch. It's, it's a pleasure it's, to watch, yeah. and you don't feel like – they feel like they're going to lose a football game. They don't think nobody can beat us. Yeah. We're, we're the best team in the NFL. Exactly. And, they, and, a, and a win like this – as a Philly sports fan, takes the sting away from the game two loss for the Phillies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But it's going to be interesting if there's actually uh, like a Thursday night, Thursday night, like Astros Phillies uh, game going on. Possibly oh, that's man. going to be wild. So let's take it to Houston on the Houston. We should be getting another win there, but we're going to be covering all of uh, all, all of like you know some of the aspects of the game in our segments. And as always, if you like the content, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, as always, to Fly Eagles Fly Podcast. The Philadelphia Phillies are 2008 World Champions of Baseball. The Philadelphia Eagles are Super Bowl champions.